Well, today is National Filet Mignon Day, just in time for our Saturday breakfast, right? And if you enjoy that specialty cut of meat, then today's segment is just perfect for you because this morning we're learning all about how to perfectly prepare and cook filet mignon right at home. Joining us now with everything we need to know for this prized cut of beef is Carl Martin. He's a butcher with Prime and Proper Steakhouse in downtown Detroit. Carl, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So Prime and Popper, of course, is known for their specialty cuts of filet. I've been there many times. You guys always do. Not familiar with the various cuts and what makes them different. Can you kind of walk, walk us through the different cuts of beef you have and the difference between filet and other cuts of meat? So um, primarily we serve filet because filet is a extremely tender cut, um, definitely lower on fat, less marbling than most cuts. But we also have, if you really want to go with something a little bit different, we have something like uh, a ribeye over here, which has definitely more fat, definitely more flavor, and even a porterhouse if you like a little bit of filet and a little bit of a strip steak. So for people attempting to cook filet at home, obviously if they want a pro to do it, they can head over to Prime and Proper. But for those attempting to cook it at home, what are some of the most common mistakes people make when handling filet mignon? Uh, I would say the most common mistake would be overcooking a filet. A filet doesn't have uh, a ton of marbling or fat in it. So when you overcook it, it tends to become dry. So just a nice light uh, here is really all you need. You shoot for medium rare, about 100 degrees. And I know the steakhouse has an extensive butcher program. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and the local farms that Prime and Proper partners with? Yeah, we, uh, we work with quite a few farms actually all over the world. We are definitely known for our Japanese Wagyu program. Um, right now we have three different cuts of Japanese beef in-house uh, from southern Japan in Kagoshima all the way up to northern Japan in Hokkaido and even some Australian stuff. And I have to say, as a, a, someone who's gone into Prime and Proper, seeing that room where you guys house all the older cuts, that steak room, uh, it blew me away. It was, it was so interesting, and I didn't know that you guys even had that. So um, what are, what's the experience that people get like when they first see that room and they get to actually see for themselves the different cuts? What's the reaction you'd like to get from your customers? Uh, most people are amazed with the amount of beef that we actually keep on hand. Yeah. Um, Anybody in our dry aging program, it's for a minimum of 28 days before we serve it. So we're serving an average of 200 pounds of beef every single night that we have to keep an enormous amount of beef on hand. So we talked about this, uh, Carl, about how, uh, you know, there's less marbling with a filet. When would you recommend someone opt for a filet over a ribeye or another cut of beef? What would be a filet night, a filet mignon night? Um, a filet night would be great for if you wanted to enjoy something a little bit more tender. Um, if you're looking for that steak that's definitely fork tender, um, a filet is really what you're looking for. Awesome, Carl Martin, butcher with Prime and Proper Steakhouse. Thanks so much for your insight. And hey, if you guys are hungry, try a filet mignon right at your own home tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.